Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. Hey, Nitra. We're on a roll. We are. Wait, is this just a setup for another bad pun? Because I already know why we're here. Well, it was. Wait, did you just roll your eyes at me? <sighs> this is a snap review for Roll to the Top Journeys. Roll to the Top was designed by Peter Jostra and Corne Van Moorsel. The first version was published in 2018, but this new version, published by Allplay, has better art, cleaner mechanics, and more interesting landmarks to explore. The box says it's for up to six players ages eight and up, and it plays in about 20 minutes. So Anitra, let's talk about this art. Horia Tundria did the new illustration for the backgrounds, and the graphic design has been updated too. All of the boards are very clear, and as we expect from all play, the dry erase actually works well and erases cleanly. We have to mention the dice. There are six of them, and they're all different and colorful and chunky. I love this because it actually makes them harder to mix them up. So why all the different dice? Let's talk about the mechanics and how to play this game. Roll to the top is a race. Your goal is to be the first person to fill all of the spaces on your board. The active player rolls all of the dice in the dice pool and then puts the action die in front of the next player. Now all the players write numbers from the dice on their individual boards. You're generally building from the bottom up. Each space must receive a number that is equal or larger than the largest number in the spaces below it. And those spaces have to be filled already. You can use each of the rolled dice once, either on its own or adding it to other numbers. But you can also choose not to use one or more of the rolled numbers. You also can't subtract dice from each other. <laughs> when everyone is done writing numbers, the next active player does the action specified on the action die. This might be adding another die to the active pool, removing a die from the pool, or swapping an active die with one that's been set aside. Then the new active player rolls all the dice in the pool and it's time for another turn. When someone fills the last box on their landmark, the game is over, and they win. There's also a solo mode in which you are always the active player, but you put X's on a companion landmark sheet each turn, depending on how many dice you just rolled. Your goal is to fill your sheet with numbers before the companion sheet is filled with X's. So, Anitra, what did we expect from Roll to the Top Journeys? I like roll and rights, and the simplicity of this one really appealed to me. I also loved the dice from the moment I opened the box. For me, first off, I've said for a long time that I really wish companies would settle on box sizes. If you pick up some of these all-play games, I've got good news for you. It makes the organizer in me so happy that all of these are the same box size. <laughs> first of all, it's a great size for a smaller box game, and also because it's consistent. Thank you. Looking at the rules and the sheets, we expected this to feel a lot like On Tour or Welcome To, where you're pretty much focusing on your own puzzle and you don't care much about what other players are doing. Roll the Top is also available on mobile devices, and Journeys is actually a remake of the original game, so I had a pretty good idea what I was getting into. I expected it to really shine as a solo game, but I didn't know how engaging it would be in a group, but that leads us to our surprises. The adding and removing of dice actually encourages you to look around the table and change your strategy. If you can put in lower numbers than anyone else, maybe you want to get rid of those big dice. But maybe you've got some handy spots for big numbers that other players would have a harder time using. If that's the case, you could add large dice or remove small ones when it's your turn. Since Roll to the Top is a straight race to fill your board, it encouraged us to take risks. In a five-player game, we thought one player had it locked up, but other players took risks to write bigger numbers or strange combinations, and we actually ended up with an incredibly close game. Only one box apart. Sometimes these are decisions that are made out of necessity, but it doesn't make the game any less exciting. The solo mode actually led to a very different strategy. It's best to always stick with the lowest numbers possible, so that when the right roll comes up, you can fill the board really, really quickly. Each of the six boards has a very different feel. So there's no worry that repeated plays of Roll to the Top Journeys are going to feel stale. There are different strategies for each board that's available. I will say, although I love the look of the dice, 
they're not quite as readable as we would like them to be. They use this kind of like handwritten font on them, which takes a little getting used to. The ones in the sevens, especially on the higher side of dice, can be tricky to read, for example. So Andrew, would we recommend this game? Well, Roll the Top Journeys is a great game for families. It's simple to play, although the strategy of which numbers to write and which to skip over can be a little bit challenging. Although younger players can play the boxes ages 8 and up, and that seems about right for kids to be able to actually enjoy the game. And, I mean, there's a little bit of arithmetic in it, too, so That's true. good for us. Much like on tour, you could use extra boards to accommodate more than six players, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. More players means less chances for each person to alter the dice pool. And being able to affect the dice is part of what keeps this game interesting. So Anitra, what are we going to rate Roll to the Top Journeys? I think we're going to rate it four landmarks out of five. And that's Roll to the Top Journeys in, in a, a snap. snap. Did you know that the Family Gamers has a weekly podcast? Oh, and, and over 500 reviews on our website. Check it out at thefamilygamers.com. Dot com.